Welcome back to Cocktails with Kurt. This is episode 49, and today's featured cocktail is the first time caller. Yes. Tell us about this drink, Kurt. This is a riff on an old-fashioned cocktail, which we've done before, uh, so this should be nice and quick. There's no strange things going on with it, but it's fun. Um, this was created at the Citrus Club at the Dewberry Hotel in Charleston, South Carolina. We got the recipe by way of our favorite source, Imbibe Magazine. Okay, so you say it's a, a riff on an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. What makes a drink an old fashioned? I mean, in, in like a category of drinks. Uh, an old fashioned cocktail is spirit, sugar or sweetener, and uh, bitters. Oh, okay. Simple as that. Um, mostly we do what would be referred to as a whiskey cocktail because we use rye or bourbon most of the time, but it's still the same three parts. Pro predominantly with, uh, predominantly spirit, a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of bitters. So, and that's all we're doing here. Okay, but if you go to a bar mm -hmm. and say, I want an old fashioned, you're gonna get a whiskey drink. You are probably going to get a whiskey cocktail, yes. Okay, and in most bars, is it generally bourbon or rye? Um, I'm not sure at this point. Um, I always specify a rye old fashioned. Um, it, for a while, rye had gone out of favor in the US, uh, so bourbon was the default. So I don't know what the, mm. what the default is at this point. We might have to go on a fact finding mission. We might have to go on a fact finding. And if it's a good place, they might even ask you. Mm, okay, all right. <laughs> but this drink does not have whiskey. This this drink does not have whiskey. Um, this calls for aged Jamaican rum. We are using uh, Hampton eight year old. Hampton you've seen before because it's the same guys who make our favorite rum fire. Ah uh, yes, um, that's good stuff. For sweetener, instead of sugar or simple syrup, we're going to use a combination of banana liqueur, also called creme de banane and creme de cacao, uh, and finally, Angostura Rivers. So uh, the non-spirit components seem to be, let's say on the, on the less expensive side of the spectrum. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, banana liqueur, I've done a little bit of research on, um, this is, Definitely one of the, the uh, less expensive options. Um, but is there a high-end banana liqueur? There are high-end banana liqueurs, but there is debate as to whether or not they're particularly better. Hmm. Yeah. They're just different. Because um, that kind of banana flavor doesn't really taste like bananas. It tastes like banana flavor. And, and not just in, in creme de banane, but in other you know right, other and, food products. And that's one of the things that hmm. the reviews have said, and I don't remember what the other brands were, but one of them stands out as being toasted banana huh. or caramelized banana. Hmm. So, Interesting. So that's where part of the debate is. It's yeah. what, what's the flavor you're looking for? Is it right. banana? Is it caramelized banana? What, what is it? Mm -hmm. so, hmm. um, so, yeah. Um, this is one I happened to pick up because that's what was there. And the I didn't store. know any better. <laughs> okay, so creme de cacao, that looks like it's the clear one. Yep, creme de cacao. There is a, there's both a, a dark and a light. Um, best I can tell, the only difference between the dark and the light is coloring. So, so you mean there's no taste difference? There's no then? taste difference, okay. at least not that I detect. Um, so I think it's just a matter of, do you want this thing a clear, uh, uh, clear cocktail or a... Uh, Brown one. <laughs> okay, let's make the drink. Okay, this is nice and easy. Every Don't. time you say that, I always think of Chef Tell. Yes, indeed. Very simple, very, very easy. Very simple, very easy. All right, so this is built right in the glass. So, nice big chunk of ice, two dashes of Angostura bitters. It really has an orangey color, doesn't it? Mm hmm. I wonder what gives it the orange. Do you know? Um, I think it's, I, I think if you get enough in there, it's actually brown. Mm. It's oh, just, okay. it's just the volume of it. 
So creme de cacao and creme de, and, uh, creme de banane, we're using a quarter ounce each, so not a whole lot. Oh, that's not very much, no. Just a quarter ounce. So this is a particularly easy one. Just build it right in the... Build it right in, in the, the glass. Um, boom. Quarter ounce. So why do you suppose uh, the recipe calls for uh, Jamaican rum? Uh, the, the different uh, regions of rum do have distinct characteristics. Shush. Kind of like terroir? Uh, possibly. Uh, that seems kind of, I mean, it, nothing, nothing that you make rum with grows in the ground, really. I mean... Yeah, the sugar, but you're not you're not going to get that from. No, it's. It, I think it's probably more of a technique. Mm, yeah. Um, and the different different areas, uh, Jamaican rum is clearly different from Demerara rum, which mm -hmm. is different from um, Barbados rum, etc. Mm -hmm. So, uh, two ounces of aged Jamaican. And the, is it aged in a barrel? Would that have any? Yes. Add any characteristics? Yes. Like that? Is it like oak barrels? This one, I think, is bourbon barrels. Mm. Uh, it just says oak casks. Mm, okay. So yeah, that'll have that will make a difference. Okay. So now, what was the volume of that then? Two ounces. Okay, so two ounces of the rum, and then a quarter ounce each of the creme de cacao and creme de venin. Yep, and just two dashes of the bitters. Okay. Uh, the recipe specifically says. Stir twice. That just seems precious. I mean, really, <laughs> what's going to happen if you stir it four times? <clears throat> maybe, maybe it'll dilute more because maybe, of the ice cube. And will that melt. could that could be it. I don't know. That could be it. Um, now, the one piece that uh, we could get fancy on, and I'll do I'll do fancy on today, but you know, most of the time I'm not going to just because. Because it's just us. Because it's just us. It's still COVID. And we're not having a lot of visitors right now. Yeah. So, for the garnish, it's an orange peel. And it's... Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> Thought I had one oh, right. Yours. Now I know where you're going with this. Yeah. So we're gonna get a little fancy on it. It looks fancy, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to deconstruct it yeah. to eat the cherry. And I'm not gonna eat a whole thing of orange peel there. Right. So, yeah, it's fancy. But it's also fancy, like we're a real bar or something. So, All right, so you're rolling it up. Here. I'm gonna roll it up with the cherry so the in cherry, the center. Orange peel. Spirit. Spirit over the drink in case it drips. Yep. Okay. And there we go. This is first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.